Hi guys, welcome to the video and today is all about letting go of the tension and anxiety. Now, if you've been watching my channel and my videos on my channel, you'll know that relaxation is so important to sprinting for running 400 meters or even dis distance work. It's just so important because it's, it allows you to gain the power, the, the, the stride length, the, the speed that you need, and it allows the body to move in its natural state. It's just crucial, and it's crucial for you to find that flow state. So if you're relaxed, you're more likely to find that flow state, which is what an athlete needs. So, But the problem is actually, so how do we get into that relaxed state? And it's probably we actually see it the right way, because one of the things that we have, tension and anxiety, is the fact that we're actually holding on to that tension and anxiety ourselves. We are holding on to it. So we're getting influenced by outside factors, whatever it is coming into our lives that are putting pressure on ourselves. Now, our response to those outside factors is down to us. And for most of us, because we haven't been taught at school how to deal with the pressures, we hold on to the pressures. We actually been taught to actually hold on to pressure and anxiety. And when that happens, when pressure hits during competition, that's when, that's when you're going to tighten up and that's when you're going to slow you down at the most important time. You need to be relaxed for that most important time. That means knowing how to deal with those pressures, knowing how to deal with tension and anxiety. And it's what, how we look at it, how we see it. And we have to understand that we're holding on to it ourselves, that tension and anxiety ourselves. So we need to allow it, let it go, as it were. We're not kind of gaining relaxation. We're letting go of the tension and anxiety. So we're uncovering the relaxation underneath. We kind of, we think, I'm kind of thinking about it that we have relaxation already, but it's underneath all that tension and anxiety. And we need to let that go. So how do we do that? Well, the very first thing, this is one of the things actually just firstly is the things that I struggled with for maybe years actually perfecting is that I was trying and trying is the wrong word here to, to bring relaxation into our, my, our sprinting and, you, and trying to be relaxation to my life and I was trying to do that and that's the problem we were a tendency in society to work hard at stuff this involves no, there's little effort as possible that's the problem with relaxation when you're incorporating it when we try we tr often have a habit of trying too hard when we try too hard we're not letting go of the tension and anxiety and we need to do that we need to be able to put in as little effort as possible maybe no effort and allow the tension to kind of drain off us so we kind of let it go so out of our body and that needs as little effort as possible. So don't try. That's the biggest thing. The other thing is you've got to recognize the tension and anxiety in yourself. So before you race or whenever throughout the day, you've got to recognize, I don't feel a little bit heavy. I feel stressed. I feel anxious. You've got to recognize it in yourself. And that takes practice. The next thing is you've got to accept it, almost enjoy feeling in that way. Because actually, we're supposed to actually feel that tension and anxiety at this present moment. That's what we're supposed to because it's teaching you something. So what, first thing, we've got to recognize it and then we've got to accept it in ourselves and just enjoy it. And one of the things actually, we actually enjoy the tension because we're actually smiling. If you actually smile, that's a big thing as well. So enjoy and smile having that tension and anxiety and observe it. And the other thing is like, actually feel your body. So actually what I like to do is actually, it, the next thing is actually rub my middle finger and my thumb together, almost like meditation, but you're not. You're not sitting there like this. You're just standing there with your hands down by your side and you're rubbing your finger and your thumb together. And that's kind of, for me, it brings me into the present moment more because you're actually focusing on something other than your mind and your thought patterns and that tension and anxiety. And once you do that, that helps you bring yourself in the present moment. And that actually those tips the recognizing the accepting and enjoying even and then rubbing your tips fingertips together that's the, and then breathing on top of that taking a deep breath and taking it out and then almost kind of visualizing the tension leaving your body those four things should go a long way to bringing that kind of stillness and relaxation you need before a race if you start to practice those then you're freeing up your body to move in its most natural, most powerful and quickest way. Once you perfect those four things, you're done. You've, you, you've, you really got to, you've really got the right um, mindset before you race. So practice it. Watch this video a couple of times, make sure you can memorize all the tips and just practice it as you go throughout the day because you can't just, want, not one of those things that you can just bring into your racing and your training. You need to practice it throughout the day so you perfect it, so you can bring it in in the most pressurized times, the, the times and race where you really want to perform 
make sure that you can actually perfect these tips so you can actually bring about relaxation. That's it. Please like, please share, and I'll see you in the next video.